Welcome to this video, where we dive into the hardware aspects of the EP Tracer system. In this presentation, we'll guide you through its main elements, cabling and startup procedure. The EP Tracer system stands out as a portable EP recording solution, equipped with a remarkable array of capabilities. It boasts up to 20 intracardiac channels, 12 ECG channels, 6 invasive blood pressure channels, and an integrated 2-channel stimulator. This cutting-edge system comprises a standard laptop, an amplifier, connection boxes and ECG cable designed to seamlessly capture and process cardiac signals all connected to a transformer to ensure electrical safety. On the front panel of the amplifier, you'll notice multiple connections, with the most pertinent ones being the interface for the surface ECG cable, and the connection point for the connection boxes, also referred to as CCB boxes. Additionally, if needed you'll find the connections for the invasive blood pressure. Stimulation outputs located in the front panel are only for emergency stimulation. Stimulation during procedures is controlled via software. Turning our attention to the rear of the amplifier, we observe two primary connections. One is designated for the power supply. The other one is to facilitate the link between the amplifier and the laptop. Both connections are labeled on the upper part of the amplifier. Connect the power cables from laptop. An amplifier to the back side of the transformer. Finally connect the mains cable from the transformer to the power socket. Additionally, make sure the supplied USB dongle is connected at all times. With all connections securely established, the next step is to power up the entire system. Simply press the green switch on the transformer to initiate power, automatically activating the amplifier. Following this, press the start button on the laptop, the software will boot up momentarily. And that's it. Now the EP Tracer system is ready for use.